this week there is no need for Gracie Travel to take care of my client's flights because I am the hunter. That's right, I'll be joining Steve Curl, who is a problem wildlife control officer on one of his many call outs to deal with hyenas that are attacking either village people or village livestock. So folks, this is going to be a cultural experience. Come along. Swift Bullet Company presents This is Africa. Close captioning is sponsored by Gracie Travel. 40 years of specializing in transporting you and your firearms to your destination. So right now we are in the little town of Bindura and we are about to pick up the National Parks Ranger. Anytime you've got to do some of these PAC animals, you always got to have a National Parks Ranger with you. So Tim, which is Steve's son, Tim is in the back here. Um, he's going to grab the Ranger for us and then we'll be on our way to the village to find the, the hyenas. Go away. Oi, Bobo. Thank you very much for coming. Yeah, was that creepy? Eh? Yeah, you know, I've been... They are the same, we are not, we now fear for our lives. Sure. My parents are everywhere. They even... There was a squash cut that was left in the road. And the following sure. morning, all the ties were... <laughs> up. They ate the tires? Yes. <laughs> so, so... <laughs> There's witchcraft there, my friend. I don't, I don't know. You, 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 you go and see. No, we are about to... Yeah. It's not far, isn't it? Ah, it's not far. It's even, the door even, road, isn't it? Even those directions, yeah. he gave us the wrong direction. We talked to him in the morning and he gave Mike the correct view. Okay. Yes. But as long as there's a contact guy on the ground, take us where they say they know where the den is, it's better. Yeah, I, I, Mike is with me. Anai, okay. Okay. Very really good. Turn on. Safe, Jen. Turn on. Okay. So beware of your wheels. <laughs> now you better wrap the truck properly if they can eat my tires. <laughs> Steve and I both grew up right here in Africa and doing this peacekeeping between humans and wildlife is something we both really, really enjoy. Make noise like I know. Ah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but how many might be in this area? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, there are so many. If they catch yeah, they, a, a they cow start, like this, yeah. they start they crying sure. 8 o'clock. Yeah. Woo! 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 They are calling each other, they meet and they catch a cow or a... Sure. Yeah. 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 But which is more, dead rats are here. Yeah, 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 yeah. But there's too much. When they are crying, they used to call each other. You hear the big one, maybe on top of this mountain, yeah. one here, one is dead, the growth way. In 30 minutes time, together. Many cows don't have to tell. It's too Six much. Six o'clock, sure. you can hear something. I mm -hmm. So I'm going to my All right. All right. So I'm going to go to my pere and Raza. Yeah. All right, my time machine. What's the report, Steve? That sounds very promising. They say there's so many hyenas on one hill, they actually call it the Aina Hill. And the one next to it is called Wadza. Apparently, there's very, very many hyena in that area. So, and I mean, we're 18 k's out, and these guys even know about it. So, it's quite notorious. I think tonight we're going to have a good time. There you hear it folks, straight from the horse's mouth, we have got another hyena program. Um, Steve never really stops, he just goes from one place to the next to the next to the next. Uh, so it's very evident that there is a problem and uh, yeah, this area looks very hyena-ish. So here we go, let's see what happens. This problem animal control work is all about working with the local communities and helping them out and keeping the balance between humans and wildlife. Steve and I both really enjoy helping these local communities and 
who, you know, the local communities are also so appreciative in return that it's really a good deal all around. Hunting or something? Maparayaba Tuesday. Niki. I uh, picked up a couple of cops, they're on their way to the area that we're going. They've confirmed that there's so many hyenas in the particular area, they just call it Mapere, which means hyenas. So, I hope they're not exaggerating because like I said, I haven't had a report like that in years. So hopefully they're telling the truth. Bye-bye. This is Africa is brought to you by Swift Bullet Company. The bullet, the least expensive, most important part of your hunt. It's the only contact you have with the animal. Swift Bonded Core technology provides great accuracy, controlled expansion, high weight retention, and deadly terminal performance. Swift A-Frame, Scirocco, and the new Breakaway Solid, all bullets without equal. Available in components and loaded ammunition. Contact SwiftBullets.com for product availability. This is Africa is brought to you by Pulsar. Yes, and the Okay. So that was the headman and he was telling us that uh, the national, national parks have been here before but they, they did not succeed in getting the hyenas so He's very grateful to see us. He says there's plenty. How many? More than many is what he said. <laughs> more than many. More than many. How much is more than many? Alex? <laughs> I'm not sure, eh? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope it's a lot. We just cleared for a field of fire. Uh, what we're doing is any anything that's in between the truck and where we want to put the speakers, we want to take it down so it doesn't interfere with the night vision or the thermal and give us a very good uh, idea of what's going on when the hyenas come in. Hopefully they're going to come in from that gap there and over the gomo on my right hand side. 
So this field that the guys are slashing is a tobacco field. Uh, they grow tobacco here in rural Zimbabwe. And this here is the village that owns the fields of tobacco. So let me show you around the village a little bit. So right here for a start we have the African turkey, which here we call a tick. It's a tick. And a turkey a tick. Here's our turkey strutting his stuff. There's a traditional Zimbabwean village house and that what you see in the background there is the tobacco barn so that's where they'll cure all the tobacco um, that wheeled vehicle is called a scotch cart it will be pulled by donkeys or cattle it looks like we have love in the air I'm not really sure what's going on here because it looks like some sort of a love triangle. And the guinea fowl is involved somehow. I think this guinea fowl might actually be an offspring of the female turkey. What the guys will do is they'll get guinea fowl eggs from the bush and put them under a domestic fowl, like a turkey or a chicken, and you end up with this situation. I smell a little bit of jealousy from the black turkey. The white turkey is uh, definitely winning at the minute. <laughs> oh. <coughs> Daily. <laughs> so this is actually a plow for plowing the fields. What will happen is um, a rope will be tied to that and tied to an oxen and that's what they'll use. This will be the driver's position and there's a wheel on the front to help it go and then these things will plow up the ground. So this is the plow for the fields. Here's the tobacco barn and at the bottom here is where you put your fire and the fire is obviously to create heat for the tobacco inside that'll be curing. These little poles that you see sticking out of the side of the building go through into the inside and that's where you hang your tobacco it's pretty closed up let's uh you can see there's some tobacco scrap on the ground and then as we look up that's where the tobacco gets hung and cured it's pretty dark in there but just gives you a bit of an idea of how these guys make a living and then coming out of the barn right next door is the cattle the cattle pen that up there is silage from the maize crop so what the the villagers will do is they'll keep their silage up above where the cattle live one it provides good shade in the hotter months and two, later in the year when it gets drier, they've got some food for their cattle when all the grass is gone. And here is the reason the hyenas are coming. You got livestock right next door to where the hyenas hide out in these rocky outcrops. This is Africa is brought to you by River God Adventures. Houston Safari Club Foundation. 
our mission to preserve the sport of hunting through education, conservation, and the promotion of our hunting heritage. Each year, we provide outdoor experiences and education for hundreds of high school students. We proudly awarded $2.4 million in scholarships and funded over $4 million in grants. We exist to serve the hunting and conservation community. We are the Houston Safari Club Foundation. Learn more and join today at wehuntwegive.org. This is Africa is brought to you by the Houston Safari Club Foundation. Right, well, I hope you enjoyed the trip of my crib. Let's get back to the serious business of hyena hunting. I hope some come in. Long way to come for nothing, but let's see. Gotta be in it to win it, right? In years gone by, it's proven very difficult to hunt these village hyenas that live right amongst the people. And the hyenas really do wise up to the ways of the people and they become almost impossible to take care of and kill. But with the recent advances of the Pulsar technology, things have really gotten a lot easier for Steve and his kill rate has improved and the whole human wildlife control program has become a lot easier and more effective. Right guys, tonight again, we're gonna be using the primary shooter. We'll have the 338 Win Mag with the XQ35 uh, Thermion 2. Hopefully we get some footage, all the reports are good. Uh, very solid unit. I uh, hope we get some very good footage. So this will be the, what the primary shooter uses. Tim, grab that. Then for scanning, we have the new XQ35 Axion 2. Very good unit, can see forever basically in the areas that we're hunting. Also has the built-in range finder. So we're gonna have someone calling the shots and ranging, and then the guy's getting busy with the rifles. Uh, also, hopefully Andy will be our primary shooter with the Thermion 2. Going to be using the flies eye shooting sticks from African Sporting Creations. We'll see how steady they are in the footage and see if Andy can make some good shots. So all things being equal, we should be in tonight at least on some hyenas. Now that we'd completed all our proper prior planning, all that was left to do was wait, enjoy the sunset and wait for the darkness, which is the time to turn on the hyena speakers and call in what hopefully would be the problem hyenas. Being able to see perfectly at night through a scope is just something that's just so, so cool. And I was surprised to see that even though our speakers had now officially started, there was a couple of donkeys that didn't seem to be you know, they were clearly used to the sound of hyenas because they just kind of stood there and were looking around, obviously paying attention um, in case the hyenas were coming for them. But yeah, I was surprised they didn't run away. Coming in full speed from on the right. Coming in, coming in, he's on the right. Coming in, he's passing the buildings now. This is Africa is brought to you by Swift Bullet Company. Safari Club is for anyone who likes to hunt. It's for the love of the outdoors. It's to give all of us as individuals a voice. Ever wanted to hunt whatever, wherever in the world, somebody in the club has done it and can point you in the right direction. We have met some of our very close friends through Houston Safari Club. I love the Houston Safari Club. I love the Houston Safari Club. I love the Houston Safari Club. Join the Houston Safari Club Foundation to increase your knowledge of the hunting world. 
This is Africa is brought to you by African Sporting Creations. Coming in. He's passing the buildings now. He's at the speakers. Hey, you. Have you got him, Andy? Yeah, I got him. When he stands, you're gonna smoke him, eh? Uh-oh. Smoke him. When he stands, hit him. Don't let him pull the speakers down, eh? Another one coming, it's okay. Smoke him when he stands, Andy. There. He's got the speaker. Right. He's got the speaker in his mouth. He's walking away with it. Don't worry. Pull it off. Straight down. Straight down. There's two on the right. Two on the right. Reload. The next one just standing. Are you recording Andy? Oh, for like two. He's no. right in line with the house. He's coming towards us. Yeah. He's standing. He's running. He's running. Right. He's down. Yeah, he's down. He's, he's going down, but he's still he's still fashion. Hit him again if you can. Him. Hit him again if you can. Yeah. Is that on him too? Is he standing or not? He's down. Yeah, he's down. Okay. He is down. I see his eyes. The other one's far right. Oh, far right. Far right. He just, he got the scanner. Yeah, I'm looking. The, I can see the dead one and this one. Andy, come, climb on top. You got a, you got a spot, but. Can I use the scanner? Yeah. Okay. That's. That's him in the grass. How far? On the far right. Over there. Coming in. They're coming in now. Let them get to the speaker. They're coming in, coming in, coming in. Yeah. Coming in. Set these off. Make sure you're recording. Yeah. They're coming. Coming in. No. Let, no, no, no. Let them come below. No. I can do it. Okay, smack that one. Hit him again. Should I hit him again? Yes. Considering we are operating in the pitch dark, which is sometimes a little challenging, I think we did a really good job. We did sustain some major damage to our speaker on behalf of my slow trigger pulling abilities but how cool to see the hyena attacking the speakers it's probably nerves that causes me a bit of apprehension to get that first trigger pull off but when I do get it off eventually at least I made it count and then uh, Steve got a shot on the second one he hit that one but and just to make sure it didn't get away I put in a second shot and then I, I moved over in the darkness and handed the gun to Tim who could see another hyena in the distance. He came in, Tim made a great shot on him. And then Steve finished that one off. And then slowly but surely the villagers started arriving and uh, helping gather the, their old enemies. And when you think these people have to live side by side with these incredibly uh, dangerous predators, that's when it really hits you as to what you're doing. <laughs> and it's incredibly rewarding to see and feel the appreciation from the local people. Well, folks, that's all we have time for this week. Thank you very much for watching This Is Africa and we'll see you same time, same place right here on the Sportsman's Channel on This 
is Africa. Next time on This Is Africa, Andy and friends board the mothership of the Zambezi River, where they fish for the world famous tiger fish and encounter some of Africa's most famous wildlife.